Good morning, everybody. It's been a long time since we had a front porch chat, so I thought I'd do one this morning. Um, hang on, I can see my glasses reflecting. You like y'all like my blue streak? This was my gray streak, as you know, and uh, a lot of people would make fun of it and throw digs at it and stuff. I would never walk up to somebody and just say something rude and ugly about their hair or their clothes or anything but so my daughter was going to get her hair done um not blue but just some regular highlights my cousin Lisa y'all met her in the other vlog so um her little girl uh, well, not little girl, but she's in high school and she takes cosmetology, so I was like, well, will you put a blue streak in my hair? She said, sure. So while she was doing Nikki's hair, she did mine, and all underneath is supposed to be blue, too, but where my hair's so dark, it didn't show up good. So I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to lighten my hair up some so it will show up. But then my husband said pink would look good in it too, so I don't know what color I would get. But I like it. Blue's my favorite color. So, and this afternoon, I have to go back to my regular doctor. Went three months ago. She did blood work, and so there were some issues that came up in the blood work. One of them I know was a very low vitamin D deficiency, so I've been taking prescription strength vitamin D and another issue I was supposed to have done rode back up there to get it done but with just us with a car my son with a car and my husband working two jobs and Alex and Nikki working and trying to get people back and forth to their jobs it's just hard to get up there so figured well while I was up there this afternoon they can go ahead and do it then, but then I can find out what's wrong. Find out why, for a long time, I've been saying how my hands hurt. They just, a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, they're so sore and a little bit swollen, I can hardly even move them. And, like, during the day, they seem to get better, but they still, they just don't work right. And for a long time, they put it off as it was my neck. But I don't think it's my neck. And I've also, at times, been waking up in my legs, just my whole body, I feel just achy and sore. And like my legs, it's like all I can do to walk. So I'm going to mention that today and see, and that might have been an issue that showed up in my blood the last time, who knows. My children should be graduated by the end of August, which that would be a great birthday present because my birthday is August 29th. So wouldn't that be wonderful? My babies want to eat. Come on, baby. <laughs> Y'all see it? The other one peek around too. Come on and eat. Come on. Come on and eat. It's okay. Come on. And here comes the other one. Come on. They'll eat with me right here, even with me talking. I think they're just very used to me now. Is it good? Is it good? See, I'm talking normal and they're not even running away. But that is what they do. They typically get their food and kind of go up a tree because they will fight each other for food. It's kind of funny. <laughs> That's fuzzy. He rules the food. I wish the baby would come out. We're, we're getting a baby squirrel now. That, um, he's not scared of me at all. The other day I was a little late in feeding him and of course Fuzzy was there. The baby was sitting right there on the on the stool, and I opened the door, and the baby just looked at me, wouldn't move, looked at me like, hurry up, you're a little late with the food. It was so cute. 
but I'm back to mainly feeding them out there. Some days we'll open the door, but it's getting to where it's where squirrels know the time of the day. They know that when my husband gets home, Fuzzy knows <clears throat> that Daddy's going to feed him again. So every day it is so cute around 1, 1 30. Fuzzy will just be sitting here, and that's the characteristics of them. They'll just be because he knows he's going to get food. And my husband, I always call me or text when he's on his way home. And he's like, is Fuzzy waiting on me? And I'm like, yep. So it, it's so cute. I want a baby squirrel. <laughs> I know y'all probably get tired of hearing about me and my squirrels. <laughs> the other ones haven't gathered. We have like seven. So... Well, I think I'm going to clip some coupons. This past Saturday when I got the paper, I looked through the coupons, and there's some good coupons. We had three coupon inserts and the Publix coupon saving thing. So I went back the next day and bought a double newspaper. So now to clip coupons. This is my way of contributing to help save the family money. And I love couponing. Got back from the doctor's office. It's nearly six o'clock. Didn't feel like cooking. Sometimes you just gotta have a good old burger. So we stopped by Checkered's and got us a checkered burger. Look at that. Mmm. And some checkered fries. Well, I'm back from the doctor. Had to give them some more blood. I gotta check my iron level. But um my vitamin D. It was very, 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 very low. I guess to the point of having like rickets. And since I ain't been able to exercise and all, gotta go on cholesterol medicine, a very low dose. But she's checking me to make sure that my iron's high enough. And when I talk to her about my hands and my legs hurting and me feeling sore sometimes in my legs where I can't hardly walk, she still believes. It is all stemmed from my neck issues and my foot. So we need to get this foot operated on as soon as we can. But I told her the doctors that I go to around where I live, they we know what has to be done. We know that all the hardware has to come out, bone either from my hip or a cadaver bone, and it's gonna have to fuse. But the one doctor I went to said she don't even know how to take the hardware out that's in there that's busted and I'm like no I don't want you doing my surgery this will be the fourth surgery she said no I don't blame you she said but you're gonna have to push on out and go more closer to the big area around here so she found me a doctor to go to and I could she says we I need to find one that is good with complications because this will be a complicated surgery. So I really need to just go ahead, find one, but like she said, don't just go to the one that you find you did the right thing. You know, she didn't even know, that one doctor didn't even know what to do. Just don't trust any doctor, you know, go find one that you trust that knows what they're talking about knows what they're doing and one that is good with dealing with complications so and I, everybody that looks at my foot goes <laughs> anyway because it looks terrible so it's so swollen so anyway that's just my day and that checkered burger sure was good we don't eat like that all the time but sometimes you know it's trying to get used to everybody's work schedule around here uh, and now they changed my son's shift now he'll be 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night so he won't be here for supper my daughter usually works evenings and then either my husband will be in the bed 
uh, get sleep for his jobs. So now I gotta kind of rearrange our suppers and stuff, and um, just what I'm having to do now anyway is cook, put a lot of it up for when Richard gets up to warm up to eat and stuff like that. And that's gonna be for Alex and Nikki. So anyway, that's just my day. Just remember, uh, if the people who's won, <clears throat> excuse me, hasn't contacted me by the Wednesday, August 5th, 2015 at midnight, Thursday morning you'll see a new video and I'll take down that one. And, um, because I've already drawn the alternate winners and I'll say who the alternate winners are. But I can't repeat myself. I'm not going to hunt you. You're going to have to watch the video to see if you won. That's kind of, I guess, the standard. That's my standard. That, I don't mean that sound ugly. So, um, and throw another little hint on the winner was video. One of the alternate uh, winners has already commented. So, um, anyway, I guess we'll either... See you Thursday morning or until the next video. I hope y'all have a great evening and a great rest of the week. Alright, time for my shout outs. And these shout outs go to, this is Emily the Country Cook. Uh, we're real good friends. We're even friends on Facebook. Y'all go check out her recipes. She has some awesome, awesome recipes. I've done made a bunch of them and they all turn out great. So, uh, and she does her thrills and spills Thursdays, and, um, her, um, the I Love With Food unboxing, and she does, like, uh, that Bean Boozle Challenge. That was the funniest thing. So, y'all go check out Emily, the Country Cook. All right, this is Lynn's Recipes. Y'all go check out her channel. Uh, she has some awesome recipes, and then she does, uh, her favorite gadgets on Mondays and uh, sometimes she does shopping hauls but her recipes are just wonderful so y'all go check out Lynn's recipes and y'all be sure to tell them that I sent you and this is Katie Cooks and Crafts she does grocery hauls cooking gardening um, weekly meals I love her nap time vlogs and she does challenges. So y'all go check out uh, Katie Cooks and Crafts. Tell them I sent you. And I hope I say her last name right. But it's Jonelle Timon. But it's JoJo. So y'all go check out her channel. She does um, vlogs and chit chats and everything. She has a little neat, interesting uh, opening and closing animations in her videos and they are so cool so y'all go check out Jonelle Time and there'll be links in the description box to these channels so go check out Jojo tell her I sent you and to complete the shout outs this goes to Big Dude <clears throat> it's Joseph's channel he calls himself Big Dude Y'all go check him out. Show him some love. He has awesome vlogs. And um, he does push-up challenges and question and answer Sundays. And um, y'all pray for his mom. His mom's been sick, but she's out of the hospital. So say a special prayer for his mom. But y'all go please check out Big Dude's channel. Tell him I sent you, and I really appreciate it. Uh, if I haven't given you a shout out uh, in this video, go check my other ones. It will say that it's a vlog and that um, if I do shout outs in there, go check out those because I might have gave you a shout out in those. But um, y'all go check them out and I want to thank all of my subscribers and all of my new subscribers. Y'all are awesome and the love that you show. I mean, it's like we're just family. We're one big family here. And if you'd like to uh, be friends with me on my Facebook, just let me know. I'll send you the link. And uh, y'all go check them out. Awesome, awesome, awesome people and channels. And just a quick reminder, 
on uh, the winner is video I'm not contacting the winners you've got to watch the video to see if you win I said that in my videos uh, the winners have not contacted me yet they have till tomorrow Wednesday August the 5th of 2015 at midnight um, let me just give a little hint hi everyone a couple of the um, alternate winners you've done commented <laughs> so just be ready I'll post a video Thursday morning if they haven't contacted me and it will go to the alternate winners real quick I wanted to add but first a lady very sweet lady that works with my husband her name is Jenny she got me this neck pillow that was so sweet she has very bad neck issues too this is very helpful thanks Jenny but um Y'all know I've mentioned I've been wanting to get into real soap making, not just the melt and pour. And I watch a lot of soap making videos, and there's still a lot to learn about the oils and the carrier oils and all this kind of stuff. So I found a kit online that I can get that has the soap mold and everything measured out to make one loaf of soap. And I'm still debating on getting it. It's still just a big step. You know, it's kind of expensive. So, and when it comes to me and spending money, I'll sit and think on it and think on it and think on it. But uh, if I get it, would y'all be interested in me filming it? Just my first time at making soap. <laughs> I'll probably have, uh, I'll probably look like a beekeeper with masks and goggles and just our scientific experiment just have plastic all over me because that lie really scares me but just let me know in the comments and if you if you make so is it worth it so um talk to y'all later bye